Okay. Um, so I guess my question for both of you, but starting with with Zach, what has it been like to embody these characters, especially to gay characters, and really see them grow um, and watch them grow and develop them as your own? Uh, yeah. Um, um, when I was coming on to the series, um, I, I was nervous that um, I wouldn't be portraying um, that um, relationship correctly, or maybe I, I just I made sure that I was talking with Don and wait so that I would do it and people would feel seen and you know identify with the characters and I think that's one of the great things about this series is that um they deal with a lot of problems that are you know kind of too real today you know I mean I, I think one way or another all of us can empathize with one of the characters on the show and I think that's really important um but seeing like the feedback from everybody watching the show and um just I, I think the, some of the best parts of my day are seeing the messages from people saying that they've uh, felt seen or that yeah and it's it really it, it makes me so happy and I'm just really uh, fortunate to be able to you know make a change like that that's awesome and then Jorvin, what about you oh. yeah <laughs> okay um I guess uh for me it was also still kind of you know it was nerve-wracking to kind of get into that but once I kind of got into it, you know, uh, did especially the, after that big kiss scene, I was kind of like, I, I was ready to do anything. Honestly, I was ready to go in there and do like <laughs> any, all the crazy things that I wanted to do. And I kind of felt, you know, into just kind of like the character of the role. And I, you know, obviously seeing all the support and, you know, the people who kind of, you know, respected, you know, the character and kind of how realistic and kind of grounded they were. I, I kind of just, you know, it feels great to be able to do that. And, you know, I guess do, do it well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, as you kind of um, go off for that for, you know, for each of you, uh, for Zach and your opinion, um, uh, what maybe you think is like the biggest, uh, as far as both your character stories in season two, what's maybe the biggest kind of unexpected turn or surprise or something maybe the uh, viewers are going to see coming in season two? Ooh, well, okay. I don't know what to say without spoiling anything, but there <laughs> is a lot of like, okay, wait, I got to think about this for a second. Okay. So the Catholic school setting kind of, you know, messes with their relationship, you know, a little bit, you know, obviously they're kind of known for not, you know, respecting or kind of, you know, <laughs> uh, liking that kind of relationship in their places. So I think that that kind of plays a part in there, but there also is, you know, something that gets introduced <laughs> into the storyline, I'm being really vague, that kind of really splits both Jake and Devin apart into like two separate like sides, basically. So I think it's gonna be kind of fun to see that. And it was really fun to play and kind of do that because I've been, I've been excited to be like be emotional. Yeah, yeah, and you know, with like the Catholic school, like as you were saying, it, it's going to be interesting to see the adversity that the characters face um, with like the people in the Catholic Church and um, how that affects the relationship and the diversity. And um, as I was saying, like, without being without revealing too much. Um, there is a turning point um, in their relationship and it's something that they have to talk over and get over. And then uh, later in the series, you um, start to realize the motivations behind this and the reasons. And, you know, it stems from a place of guilt with Jake. I mean, he left the first season uh, feeling responsible for everything that happened. So um, it's interesting to see how that ties in and how that um, influences his choices throughout the series. Zach, this qu this question is for you, but Bjorgen could uh, jump in if you want to. Uh, in this uh, Chucky verse, a lot of strange things could happen, but in this case, uh, Devin is back. Um, you know, um, who played your father, and now he is yeah. your father. I, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so tell us about the uh, about about that experience on working with the same actor on two different characters and making the adjustment this time around. yeah you know um honestly it's with Devin Sawa he could just he just locks in and he becomes a completely different person and it feels like you're acting with a completely different person and it's really great to have him back I mean Don is known for bringing people back from the dead so um it's it's it, it was really great working with him again and um I hope he comes back if we get a season three so it's already put no we're getting a season three let's put that in the manifest <laughs> The, and yeah. the universe it's manifest this <laughs> uh i guess to add something to that for me 
Um, you know, I guess what, what Zach said about, you know, how he likes to bring characters back with like a, as a, for Alexi's dad, who was I think the therapist in Curse of Chucky. So like, those, are two, those are two different characters, yeah. you know, a nice guy and an evil guy. So for me, I guess I didn't really get to work with Devin Sell that much. So I, I kind of saw him. I think he kissed Jennifer Tilly. That's all I remember was that uh, maybe I mean, maybe I was focused on something else. Anyways, um, <laughs> I think that I got to work with him more and kind of see like a different character because I saw the series, obviously, and I see, you know, Logan and um Luke, right? Is that? Lucas, Lucas, Lucas and yeah. like Logan, how those characters are kind of like, you know, more like grungy, more like kind of mean, but how the new character he plays is kind of different. And it was kind of fun to be able to work with that version of a, of a character that Devin kind of portrayed. Great. Thank you. All right. We have time for one more question. <laughs> I have a question. So. <laughs> I'll, I'll go ahead and throw, throw this one out. Um, you're, after one season, getting used to Chucky, um, what is your personal ad adjustments to your characters this time around with, you know, the uh, obsession or paranoia or, or... Uh, I guess, I guess like in real life, <laughs> I mean, I'm always looking over my shoulder. I see, you know, um, I think that I guess for Devin's character, um, obviously, and I mean, like Chucky's dead, quote unquote, you know, he never really dies, but I think Devin kind of knows that a little bit, you know, he knows that this this can't be you know like this doesn't feel like the end for you know their torment so i think he kind of always is like looking over his shoulder always thinking about that and deep in his head that there's chucky is still there and it's still coming for them that i think he wants to kind of like do everything else he can to kind of keep that thought away but uh it's kind of hard to do that when chucky's you know trying to kill you so yeah. all right excellent thank you very all much right. thanks so much everyone